Hey kids, well Reillusion has shoveled dirt on Mixamo's grave with a new auto rigger stealthily dropped yesterday called Accu Rig. It's a free download. I guess that means it's free. I was able to download it without logging in. But I think it phones home to Reillusion servers, so pretty sure you'll need to sign up. AccuRig is the companion to their animation library store called Actor Core, a place to buy professional, low-poly figures to populate crowd scenes, workplace training videos, and very slice-of-life animations of people talking on cell phones. So if you don't know, Reillusion has revamped their software lineup and raised prices on Character Creator 4 and iClone 8. So it's a bit of a surprise that they would release an auto-rigger for free. It's also a little curious how AccuRig is not billed as part of the Character Creator ecosystem for, you know, figure creation. It would make sense to have an auto-rigger in Character Creator. But instead, we have a free download from their animation store. So what's the catch? Well, as far as I can tell, the only catch is the software on your computer. It's PC only. Works like a terminal, but it sends your model to Reillusion servers for the actual rigging, similar to what Mixamo does. You will need an internet connection. I assume you'll need to be signed in. AccuRig signed me in automatically, and I didn't bother to sign out to see if it would still work. I ha already have an ActorCore account. Sometimes they have freebies. Uh, ActorCore is a little on the expensive side. It's like Turbo Squid pricing for what are essentially animation assets for video studios who make in house corporate training. Reallusion has never really been gaming focused, they've always been about fast video animation production. The idea with AccuRig is to make my 3D figures or your 3D figures compatible with their animation files. Uh, naturally, AccuRig offers to upload my figure to their store where I can buy all their animation packs. And there's this advertisement that runs down here in the corner. I guess that technically makes AccuRig less free because it's adware. That's the catch. I'm assuming that's the catch. Now, uh, Mixamo's auto rigger has also been free for years, ever since Adobe bought it. Mixamo did not start out free. It was quite expensive when they launched, along with Mixamo Fuse, for 3D figure creation. But the Mixamo Skeleton has become something of a staple in 3D figures. Not because it's any good, but because it's free, and no one likes to rig and weight paint, obviously. Now, no telling if AccuRig will rise to that level and become the next industry standard. Uh, the skeleton is better. The limbs and neck have twist bones, making the rig more robust with better posing, although it is somewhat a little more complicated to control. Now, I guess the other industry standard skeleton is Blender's Rigify. But Rigify is sadly in Blender, which is complicated software where a lot can go wrong, especially around the import and export of 3D figures. In Blender, you basically need a tutorial for very basic things, and people act like this is normal. It's not normal, people. So when I see these great plugins for Blender that are essentially wizards for setting up Blender's complex systems, yeah, great. They're really not all that easy, unfortunately. Obviously, if Blender is your boyfriend, then you're already accustomed to putting up with an abusive, narcissistic relationship with a sociopath who can't communicate. You know what you're dealing with. Good luck. Me, I never got much from Blender. It's way too much of a process to do anything quickly. Despite Rigify making things easier and having a lot of options, it still requires too much Blender for my workflow. So going back to Reillusion's AccuRig, the Mixamo killer. Well, we'll see. AccuRig follows a similar easy formula of placing joint markers on your figure, and it does offer these helpful illustrations to explain where the markers are supposed to go. Now, it's not actually foolproof in that the markers can be placed wrong, and hilariously, Reillusion's website 
shows how placing the markers, like for instance, these shoulder markers, is actually a creative choice. Like uh, you might want your shoulders to stick straight out or to slope all the way down. <laughs> this is a feature. Okay. Okay, Real Illusion. I can accept that it's a feature, sure, because it's easy to redo it. <laughs> the rig markers can be moved and the figures re-rigged. You can even save your marker configurations on a specific figure. Not sure how useful that will be in a production. I guess it will save time if I see a problem on my rig later on and I need to redo it. I think if you are doing this for yourself, for your own kind of wannabe figure system, you should rig the figure nude and then you can always project the skin weights into your clothing. The the AccuRig worked fine with um, multi mesh clothing too. I didn't I, I didn't really put it through stress tests. I'm sure other people will. I'm not here to break things. I don't care. Now my experience with the rigging was it's fast, which I appreciate. But AccuRig was only released yesterday, so nobody's using it yet. I remember when Mixamo's auto rigger tended to slow down during peak hours presumably when everyone was using it hand bones are separate and you'll have options for finger count or no fingers at all again you'll want to consult the illustrations the only thing i'm missing here is a mesh view where i could see the vertices on my model i feel like that would really help me out another issue is the markers will sometimes uh, dive deep inside the figure and also the markers on the hand can get out of order and you don't necessarily notice until, yeah. At one point I accidentally swapped my right and left knee markers. And like I said, it's not quite foolproof. Like I'm a big enough fool. I can, I can trade. I, I do like this thumb rotator. I have mocap gloves and getting that thumb to not look like a twisted gnarled twig. It's a challenge. Now this solves this, that issue by you rotate the thumb joint, just point this arrow in the same direction as the thumbnail. Really easy, thank you. Now supposedly AccuRig has been trained on various figures in A-pose and T-pose and even standing I-pose, which is not a thing, but they did it anyway. Uh, once the figure is rigged, you can export it in FBX. USD or iAvatar, that's the real illusion format for their ecosystem. Now, obviously, there are no facial blend shapes, no face bones, no breast bones, but the iAvatar format allows importing to Character Creator 4, where facial blend shapes can be added to this figure if you know how. If you can sculpt your own facial blend shapes, they can be imported individually as OBJ. Uh, then you could export from Character Creator with blend shapes. So, fair to say that Reillusion's Auto Rigger is a standalone plugin. But for fully realized figures with expression blend shapes, you'll need Character Creator 4 or another workflow like Skin Pro and Unity to merge those blend shapes on. Now I spent a few years consolidating my figure creation around the Fuse base mesh. <laughs> I still have feelings for Fuse, probably Stockholm Syndrome. A few years back I made a complete set of iPhone blend shapes for the generic Fuse figure Fusette and it's possible to copy blend shapes from one figure and load them onto the base mesh of another figure as long as it's the same base mesh. So you can copy blend shapes from one figure to another and they work as long as the base mesh is the same. Adobe's license prevented me from selling or sharing my Fuse blend shapes, but now the Fuse is gone and Mixmo blend shapes are gone. Well, I'm not sure what where that leaves fuse legally. There are other base meshes that aren't in legal limbo, so if I start doing figure creation again... Yeah, um, 
Now, Character Creator 4 is obviously superior to Adobe Fuse in every way. And the CC3 Plus Base Mesh is what made me switch over to Reillusion. Made me give Character Creator another go. But if you can't afford Character Creator 4, maybe look at Mixamo Fuse. It's free on Steam. Or better yet, if you have a copy of Adobe Fuse, you can rig, you can export figures from Mixamo and Adobe Fuse's OBJ and then rig those figures with AccuRig. Now, no contest, the AccuRig bones look better than Mixamo's bones. Honestly, I'm impressed with how this mesh moves. The twist bones are working inside iClone. If you're animating in another program, you gotta handle your own animation rigging to get those twist bones working. Now, no, uh, the fuse textures, yeah, that's about a decade behind the industry standards. <laughs> I, I could see reviving some of my fuse workflow and using this base mesh again. And I'll tell you why. Uh, Reillusion and Unreal's MetaHumans, they're going for the cinema and video marketplace. Unity, 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 Unity bought Ziva Dynamics because, you know, they think they're going to enter this high-end visual effects market. More power to them. Uh, meanwhile, there's still a neglected gaming market like WebGL and social 3D communities need figures with lightweight textures. That usually means stylized figures over photo reel. I would be curious to see how far someone could go with an alternate base mesh. There's clearly a need for a low poly and stylized game figures with simple textures. MetaHuman and AAA games, they soak up all the oxygen, but 3D is increasingly moving online. And the Metaverse and Web3 and GLB as web-friendly exchange format. Ah! Uh, oh, oh, okay, so that's one thing that is missing in this AccuRig is a GLB exporter. In fact, where is the GLB exporter for character creator? That... Get on that resolution. So, in conclusion, it's weird that I always see games have to reinvent the wheel for their figures because they can't use these over-processed, high-end, metahuman figures. And apparently, the, there's no profit to be had on low-end niche gaming figures because no one wants to support it uh, I think you know it, I think there's a market for it but I don't know maybe a new maybe a new better auto rigger accu rig will help uh, lower end figures see the light of day. Maybe we'll see more better gaming figures. All right, that's my rant and my news. You're watching Cutscene Artist. This is Wet Circuit. I will talk to you soon. I'm sure something will happen. <laughs> uh, AccuRig. It's good. It's free. Well, it's a free download. Whatever that means. I'll talk to you soon, kids. Keep creating. Bye.